New research suggests an Australian sea sponge could hold the key to successfully combating the deadly disease tuberculosis. Scientists from the Centenary Institute and the University of Sydney have found sponge samples from the Great Barrier Reef contain a potent antibacterial agent that inhibits the bacteria that causes TB. Here's Dr Diana Kwan Lee, who's the lead author of the study. Hi Diana. So tell us more about what you found in the sea sponges. Uh, well, this particular sea sponge was one of 500 different samples that we sourced from the Great Barrier Reef and took for a further investigation in Professor Jamie Trickus's lab. And we were able to purify and isolate a highly potent, entirely new chemical class of compound for the treatment of clinical as well as drug-resistant tuberculosis. So this is potentially a new form of antibiotic drug? Yes, yes. And that's something that we've been after for a long time. Uh, it's been almost... Uh, 50 years since a new drug has been developed for TB. So what led you to look at sea sponges? Well, uh, throughout history, the vast majority of antibiotics have been sourced from the natural environment. And despite the marine environment containing a quarter of the Earth's biodiversity, it's remained a pretty underutilised resource. So we were able to collaborate with the Australian Institute of Marine Science to access the bioresources library and see what we could find. So what's the next step? Well, from here, we've uncovered several other leads as well in examining these sea samples, and we're going to kind of take them further through preclinical development, and hopefully, you know, we can gain some funding to take them further. So how big a problem is TB in modern Australia and elsewhere in the world? Well, we're very lucky that the incidence of TB is low in Australia, but at the present time we are talking one in three people worldwide currently infected with tuberculosis and that number increases by 10 million new cases every single year. So we're looking at TB as now the leading cause of death from a single infectious disease mm. and the main problem is that it they mainly preys on the most vulnerable communities that we have in the world and greatly exacerbates the cycle of poverty as well. So there's a real need to develop more effective drugs to shorten and simplify treatment for them. And you said there's a strain of TB that is drug resistant. There are, yeah, there are several strains now. Uh, the WHO has declared it a drug resistance pandemic that is going across the globe at this moment in time. Mm. So are you going to further investigate the marine environment in order to try and find new drugs? Yes, I think it's a very interesting avenue of study and I'm sure that it will yield further fruit for researchers and um, it's going to be very exciting. Not just for TB? Not just for TB, no, definitely not. Um, the thing with the sea creatures is that they're constantly engaged in chemical warfare with each other. So researchers can kind of isolate the potent compounds and turn them to good use for human health in many different areas. Dr. Dana Kwan Lee, good to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you.